Hey you guys, it's Voluptuously Skinny and I am coming to you with my post-op, I don't know what week update, but I'm also going to give you a mini haul, but my current weight is, I don't know, I don't remember what it was on Wednesday, so I'm just going to give you what it is today. It's 156.4 and that is down, I think last week it might have been like 160 something, I don't know, but anyway, since Dion has been gone and in therapy, I have actually been able to eat a lot better because there is food in the refrigerator that stays there. So that was one of the issues that we were having as far as his binge um, eating. And so anyway, I am doing much better and uh, the weight is coming off and I am just feeling much better. So... Um, I think that was about it. I talked a lot on that last video about a lot of different things. And one of the things that I mentioned was trauma therapy. And my therapist and I talked about that. And I told her that I really, I already know what I've lived through. I've already known what was going on. And I don't really care to have to relive that. One of the issues that I'm having right now, which really could have caused me to binge eat a lot more than what um, I could have is, you know, I've been accepted to medical school. And what saddens me is that not one of my sisters has called me to say anything or acknowledge anything. So that was pretty hurtful. And I already cried about it. And I have let go. And I'm letting God take that <laughs> because He's the only one that can do anything about that. There's nothing that I can change. And, you know, I just I just have to keep moving because I and I have to be I, I have to do what is good for me and, and not worry about those those things. So anyway, that's where I am as far as emotionally, as far as where my binge eating is. I'm seeing the therapist weekly and um, I'm, I'm doing well. I'm not eating in my room. Actually, let me back up. Last week I ate in my room once, and this week I've eaten in my room once, and that was last night, actually. Actually, it was like 4 o'clock this morning, because um, I've gone out a couple of times. Can you believe that? First time in like 9, 10, 11 years or something, um, and that has been fun, but I definitely know that I won't be doing that often and probably I told my girlfriend I said um you probably have maybe one more time <laughs> uh from me as far as uh going out plus last night I told her I needed to get home early because I wanted to do a long run this morning and so I could get at least three or four hours of sleep and that didn't happen and so I didn't get to do my run this morning so um I'm being a lot more healthier as far as the running is concerned there are days where I have days and days and days where I'm running and then something may pop up and I don't get to run that day. Or I may plan to try and do it that afternoon, but I may not get to it. And I'm not so hard on myself because I definitely want to be mindful of and trying to be careful of um, using the running as a way to purge. So with all of that said, um, Thank you guys so much for all of your congratulatory remarks. And um, I'm just super excited, y'all. I still am on cloud nine. I actually start June 10th. I start medical school June 10th. I got my official offer letter um, a few days ago and went on and secured my, we have to secure our spot with a deposit. So I did that and I'm just overall excited. So I'm getting ready to try on my little mini haul. I went shopping with some girlfriends today to show them kind of how I bargain shop. And I I have five outfits for $19.53. And then she got six outfits, six dresses for, I think she spent $23 and some change. So we both hit a lick, <laughs> as they would say. So anyway, I'm going to give you guys a, um, oh, you know what? Let me, oh, well, let me show y'all what my arms are looking like uh, right about now. There's still some nerve pain under here and some nerve sensitivity. So, and it's still like pretty thick. 
in here. So I don't know if that's some swelling or what. Um, I still am, well, no, I don't even question anymore. Initially, y'all know I questioned about having uh, some still loose skin. But when I look at where it was from and where it is, and I also look at, I think about what um, the one of the other plastic surgeon said to me, he t they told me that there was going to be some, he, he, and I remember him asking me, showing me where it would be and asking me if I would be satisfied with that. The surgeon that actually did the work didn't ask me that. It was actually another plastic surgeon. And I said, yeah, I'd be satisfied with that. And that's where it is. The other thing I remember that he told me, and this is the other arm, and the scars are looking pretty good. Yeah, hopefully you can see that. But uh, to the side, they're fine. Yep. They're fine. This is what I kind of, I really don't like. Is that. But it's okay. Yep. Um, my tummy is doing well. Let me show y'all that. This is a piece of silicone tape because right there, let me take that off and see if I can get closer so you can see. See, that's it's kind of a dark and more... Um, pronounced scar so I'm putting silicone tape on it to try to facilitate it kind of a uh, flattening out and making sure it doesn't get um, too bad or what have you let me straighten it up on there okay and then as far as my tummy is concerned this is sorry y'all know I didn't do the back of me so my booty is still kind of it's still <laughs> wait let me try to tuck that back in. <laughs> so, um, this is where my stomach is. My stomach looks good. Try to pull it down so you can see the scar. There's the scar. There. This is where I am from the side. Where am I? I'm kind of sticking in. And I'm out. In, out. Okay. So, um, that's where I am. And you know, I still have the skin there. The other thing that... I re the la the plastic surgeon that I didn't go with, he had also suggested, and I was just kind of looking at my body one day and was thinking, and I don't know why, oh, I put on a bra, I put on a bra or something, I was pulling up, and all of this started to pull up, and I was like, ooh, I was like, look at that, and then I remembered, I said, Dr. Ratliff told me that he would really suggest that I actually do a back lift and come up here. But I didn't want that scar across my back. And so if I would have done that back lift, you guys, that would have probably taken care of a lot of the, when I bend over, remember the skin like so. See where I have that extra skin? But if I would have done the back lift, it probably would have worked out for the best. But I didn't want that scar. And so I still feel like I look, um, look good and I'm satisfied with it. I, I like the way it looks. And um, let's see, what else? So anyway, let me get to it. I'm gonna try on these outfits and do this haul for y'all. All right. Hey. All right, so you guys, this was probably the most expensive thing that I purchased was this skirt. I've been watching this for probably a couple of months uh, when they got their prom stuff out. They had this as a set and the set, um, believe it or not, was similar to what I have on. The It was a black top that was just like this bra. Um, if, and in fact, it was just like that in the back as well. Um, and it was the skirt. This skirt is a, I think this is a 5'6". This is a 5'6". And I'd probably wear it similar to this. I have another tank top with, a, well, a bodysuit with these rhinestones on it and so I was thinking I could wear it with that. But I love this. This was the most expensive thing. And it was actually $7. Because individually, it was um, $15 for one. The, the two-piece, or the, the set, was $30. And I just didn't want, um, I didn't want to pay all of that. So, <laughs> not that it was all, all of that. But um, I only wanted to pay what I wanted to pay for it. And so this was $7. And it has pockets. So really pretty, y'all. Really pretty. And it is floor length. And I've been wanting something that was kind of like a, a gown type thing so I could wear it 
um, maybe to a gala or someplace fancy. But I tell my friends, don't be surprised if y'all see this in my Sunday flow because I'm just wearing stuff, okay? So let me get to the next thing. Okay, here is the second outfit. This was uh, $3. Yeah. And my friend, actually, we kept looking at this outfit. And let me see if I can. Oh, let me, let me turn this on. Is that any better? Yeah, maybe a little bit. My friend and I kept looking at this outfit. And I was just like, that is so cute. But I said, it's kind of weird. I said, because how would this work? And, um... When I got it to the dressing room, I said, you know what? I'm going to try it on anyway. $3, you can't beat that. So when I got it to the dressing room, because, um, you know, we were thinking this would be open. Well, I was having a hard time stretching it out. I was like, what is wrong with this thing? Well, come to find out, it has a tank top inside. And the tank top wasn't, it was just the top, this top portion that was hanging up. And the tank top was actually uh, down in the skirt area. So this is what this looks like. And I actually put on some um, some additional uh, shapewear for my legs because this is such a thin t-shirt type material that it was showing the um, the cellulite and everything and the, the loose skin in my legs a lot. So this is this. It's really, really cute, y'all. Really, really cute. Yeah. So I'm liking it. Definitely liking it. Um, yeah, definitely liking it. And I wouldn't wear, because I have my other shapewear on that cuts me across here, I wouldn't wear that. I would only wear these, the long lined ones, just so I wouldn't have that uh, crevice there. So that's the way that is. But isn't that so cute, y'all? Three dollars. I like it. I think I did good on this one. And I actually, because of the way it looked in the dressing room, I was going to um, leave it there because I was thinking, oh, it still is just showing way too much. Um, and I thought, you know, $3, let me just get it home because I can always take it back and get a store credit. And um, sure enough, got it here and it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. So $3. Anyway, let me show you the next one. All right, here is the third outfit, third dress. Y'all know I told y'all I really do like dresses. I've got a closet full of dresses. Um, this is what the other one looks like. And this is one that I definitely would probably wear with tights. Just because it is a little bit shorter than what I think I would wear. Um, honestly, I don't know. I could wear it like this. Um... But uh, I might most likely wear this one with tights. But it really doesn't look horrible. Oh, but my legs are, I'm just thinking right here. Oh, but if I, you know what? I didn't even realize these really did that like that. So these here, they're actually pulling up that, you know, that skin you have around your ankles. Well, everybody may not have it, but I do. Um are not ankles, your knees. I um, This is actually pulling them up a little bit. I kept wondering why was that looking so good. But yeah, that's actually pulling them up a little bit. So I don't know. I could wear it like this without tights, which I think. Yeah, I like this one. And it was $1.50. Yeah. $1.50. And I think everything I purchased today... I think everything but maybe one item was brand new. Yeah, so this is $1.50. Yeah. So let me show y'all the next thing. Okay, this is the next thing. Yeah, it's super tight, long dress. It's got ruching on the side. I tried to get my girlfriend to get this one, and she was like, mm-mm, that's not, uh-uh. I said, well, this looks like the tank tops that you always wear. And she was like, nope. So I was like, well, I'm going to try it on. And I took it. <laughs> she, so when I tried it on, she was like, oh, yeah, girl, I, I'm not ready for that. That's too tight. So I like it. <laughs> I like it. So this is what it looks like. Yeah. I think y'all can see that good. Let's see if close that up. Yeah. Yeah, I really like this one. 
and it was three dollars. Yep. Three dollars. I like that. Dion said, Mama, are you have you been shopping? And I said, No, I really haven't been shopping. And then my goal today was not to go. I, I didn't I said, okay, my budget is forty dollars, but I really don't want to go over twenty dollars. That was really should have been my budget. So <laughs> I didn't go over twenty eight, it was nineteen fifty three. And so I told him, I said, No, I really haven't been shopping. I said, I've actually kind of straightened up everything and gotten all my stuff together. So, um, yeah, but I'm feeling myself in this one, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. I like this one a lot. I can't wait to wear this one. I can't wait to wear it because I'm gonna be strutting. Strutting, 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 strutting. <laughs> okay, last thing. Okay, so this is the last outfit. This is uh, the last outfit. Um... I forgot to tell y'all the sizes. The blue dress with the ruffles was a medium. The last dress I had on the long rouge tank dress was a small. And the skirt was a 5.6. And the peach one, I think, was a medium or small. Let's see. No, it's a small. This is the only one. It's a large. It is a large. So it fits me... Um, pretty big on the sides but you guys I'm I'm either gonna wear it as it is which I think it, it is fine or I may see if somebody can take it up or I may even do it on the sides here to try to make it just a little bit uh, tighter and look this was three dollars y'all look at this it's pants <laughs> isn't that neat it's pants. I couldn't believe it. I was like, this was my treasure. This was my diamond in the rough, y'all. Um, it's pleated here. Like I said, I'm going to, it's a large, and I think I'm going to have it taken up, or I may not have it taken up at all, and I may just wear it like it is. Um, and this one, this is what I'm thinking, believing why this one was still in the store, because there's no way that this still should have been in the store. This is gorgeous. Um, the top, the pleated bottom, the fact that it's pants, you guys. Um, I don't think there's any pockets or anything. Girl, because if that would it would have been pockets. Oh man, y'all. Mm -mm. Wouldn't be nothing you could tell me. Um, so but the reason I think that it was still in the store is because of this necklace type of a um what do you call it neck piece or what have you this right here this was hanging out of it and it wasn't in the top here and it wasn't in one of the arms in the back it was uh it was only attached to this one side oh and i don't even have it oh that could help if i had it buttoned up i don't even have it buttoned up so that could make it fit me just that much better. Let me see. If I can button it. Um, what I did was I just took a safety pin and weaved it back through there. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh yes! I didn't realize I didn't have that buttoned up there. No wonder it was kind of hanging a little more. So anyway, um, yeah, that, it was just, this was out. And it did look like it was just raggedy and torn. But um, I can tell that it's brand new because the tag is 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 out of the, uh, is the tag is marked out. Usually any name brand stuff, like I've got a lot of Gap stuff. Not a lot, but I've got some things. And they always mark their brand out. And this one is marked out. So that's sometimes an indication of whether or not something is brand new, especially if it doesn't have its original tag. And my assumption is that maybe somebody tried it on and that came out and they couldn't get back in. And so the company must have um, kind of shifted uh, whatever to the warehouse. So, but yeah, this was my diamond, you guys. This is my diamond. And I could not believe that it was pants. It's pants, it's pants, hey. It's pants, it's pants. Yeah, so this is just so gorgeous. I'm, I'm so in love with this one, this outfit. Just so in love with it. It's really pretty. 
So anyway, that is my haul. Um, and that is my update on my tummy and my arms and just my life. That is, that's it. So anyway, I will see y'all next week. <laughs> Peace out, babies. Oh, and don't forget to pray for me because I'm praying for y'all always. And um, pray for Dion. He's doing really well. And I'm sure he wants me to tell everybody hello. So anyway, talk to y'all later. Peace out, babies. Mwah.